Okay, here it is. Finished product. It's ready to do work. 2020 Vio 55 and the Femac hammer cutting head. Or, you know, swinging hammer. Uh, tried it today. It worked. It worked well. So, as I mentioned in my last video, when I when I got the cutter, we put it on the 50 and it didn't work. Needed a different machine to run it. So, I got a different machine. I got a big one. Well, it's not big, but still mini. Big to me. Because it is more than the 50 and you need a CDL, which I did get this fall. So, that's good. So, we can move these machines around legally. Uh, this is just under 13,000. It's like 12, 8, 12, 7, 12, 8 with the cab. So, did a couple things to it. Get it ready to cut some wood. As you can see, I added that screen on the front. Looking through it is not too bad as long as you look through it and look at what you're doing and don't look at the, the diamonds or else it will make you dizzy. Now, as far as getting this cutter head on there, this Femac cutter, it's 27 inches wide. I think I can run the next size up on this machine, which is like a 30 or 32 because um, I need 20 gallons a minute. And that's pretty much what this machine does is 20 gallons a minute max. We had to build a bracket, and that was one of the reasons we went the Vio instead of the Kubota. Again, the auto disconnect here, the automatic disconnect, hydraulic disconnect, it's the same as our 50, so all the buckets that we currently have fit. You can also put the bucket on in reverse, which is pretty cool. Um, had to do some plumbing work. So we had to add a three-way valve, because this is only plumbed for one apparatus out here you know one one extra application so it came with the thumb progressive thumb you know pin mount thumb down here you know that's pretty nice so i wasn't going to take that all off obviously i want that on there if i'm going to be moving logs or stacking rocks or anything like that so we bought this three-way valve and then we had to custom make a few things i had to custom build this fitting because this hose is a little bit different thread we weren't really able to locate anything like that locally or, or on the internet. So had to make my own fitting there. Um, this is all O-ring thread on the three-way. So not too bad. Went with a flat face high flow couplers. Um, supposed to be leak free or whatever when you disconnect them. So we'll see on that. So I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. Had to make a little bracket to hold that. Did them both the same. Remove the handles. The handles in the in a little tool area there on the machine. So when you wanna switch back, no big deal. You just shift that and then you're back to using the thumb. Hopefully I won't bump it and rip it all off. And you can see here, it does stick out a little bit, but it's still inside the width of the thumb. So I think it'll be okay. I used it this morning for about a half an hour, you know, shoving it into trees and stuff, into some sumac is what I was doing. And that's all springy and weird and stuff and uh it was fine didn't have any issues you know obviously you need to pay attention when you're doing that type of work anyways make sure you're not running into stuff but uh yeah so i'm pretty happy with the way it came out uh what have i noticed with the vial 55 so far that's kind of different or goofy so far nothing the entryway in is a little narrow between the doorway and this red lever it's a little bit narrow i mean you know, figure my hands eight, eight or nine inches there. You know, it's not not a lot of room there. And you want to be careful when you're getting out that your coat doesn't hook this and strangle you when you when you jump back out outside here. Um, it didn't come with a radio, so you can see up there. There are uh, two speakers and an empty hole. And that hole is only about two inches deep, so you're not getting the radio into there. I actually found a company. It makes a kit for this. It has yet to show up, so I will make another video on that to show you how that came out. But so far, I'm pretty happy with the operations of the machine. Everything's real smooth. Pretty powerful. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, don't know if I'll miss the steel tracks or not, or wish I had steel tracks. Not sure. You know, I got the angle blade with it. That's nice. I think we'll be fine with the, with the rubber track. But overall... It works, and I'm probably not going to get an operating video with this until next spring because it's just about time to tap trees here, so I won't really have any time to go do any work, and I don't have any work lined up for it anyways. So 
but we have a bunch of other toys coming to it about a dump truck and a flatbed trailer and those both need some work so i'll be bringing you some more videos here about what's going on with that stuff any questions hit me up thank you